Hello everyone. Today we're going to practice more exercises. So let's do exercise 2.6 from your textbook. Okay, exercise 2.6 and exercise 2.7. Now let's look at exercise 2.6. Lennon Industries had the following transactions. Number one, borrow 5,000 euro from the bank by signing a note. Number two, pay 3,900 euro cash for a computer. And number three, purchase 650 of supplies on account. Instructions A, indicate what account are increased or decreased by each transaction. B, journalize each transaction, omit explanation. So let's do this one, okay? The first thing you need to do for question A is to indicate the accounts that are increased or decreased. So number one, we borrow 5,000 uh, euros from the bank by signing a note. So when we borrow money, when we borrow money from the bank, our cash will increase, right? So number one, I have cash increase. And what else? The next would be, we borrow money from the bank. So it's new, we have a note payable, okay, our liability increase. So not payable increase, okay, cash increase and not payable increase. Number two, pay 3,900 cash for a computer. Okay, so when we pay cash for a computer, what happened? Our equipment will increase, right? Because we got a computer. So equipment will increase. Okay, equipment will increase. What else? What else? We have a decrease in cash because we pay money, right? To buy a computer. So our cash will increase. But three, pay 650 uh, cash for a computer. Okay, so what happened in number three? When we pay cash for a, sorry, when we purchase 650 supplies on account, so when we buy supplies, supply will increase, right? Because this is an assets. Assets increase, supply increase. And did we pay money for the supply? No, because we buy it on account. Okay, when you see the word on account, it means we owe money, okay? So we didn't pay any money yet, okay? so. We have accounts, accounts payable, increase. Okay. Now let, let's record the transaction here. Okay, let's record a transaction here. Since uh, the question didn't give us the day, so we just put the number here instead of the day. All right, and Number one, okay, we borrow 5,000 from the bank by signing a note, okay? So we have cash, debit, 5,000, okay? Now the question didn't give us the, um, the number of the account here, so we just left the reference column blank, okay? And then we sign the note with the bank. So we borrow money from the bank, right? So our note payable increase 5,000. So we debit 5,000. 
Now, how can we make it uh, to the right side for the um, credit account? To indent the credit account to the right side, you just go to the indent here and just click on that and it will go to the right, okay? Okay, next number two, pay 3,900 cash for computer. So we have equipment debit 3,900, okay? And we pay money, right? So our cash will credit 3,900. Again, if you want to indent it, okay? You will select this one to indent it to the right, okay? One, two, and it can be indented to the right. Uh, in this transaction, you don't have to write the explanation because the questions say you can omit explanation. Omit explanation is mean you don't have to write a brief explanation, you know, um, in every transaction. Number three, okay, we buy 650 supply on account. So when we buy 650 supply on the account, we will debit supply 650 and we will credit accounts payable. Why is account payable? Because we buy on account. We buy on account, it means we haven't paid money yet, okay? So we owe money on accounts, right? Okay, let's do the next one. Next one, we will do exercise 2.7. Exercise 2.7. Okay, let's do the next one, exercise 2.7. So exercise 2.7 say, uh, all enterprises had the following selected transactions. One, two, three, four. Instructions. A, indicate the effect each transaction has on the account equation. Assets equal to liabilities plus owner's equity using plus and minus signs. So we're going to do this one now. Uh, first, you will need to write down the accounting equation. So this is our accounting equation. Assets equal to liability plus owner equities. Next, we're going to analyze each transaction. So number one, Bo Holiday invested 40,000 cash in the business. So when Bo Holiday invested 40,000 cash in the business, our cash will increase, right? Our cash will increase. And what else? Owner equity will also increase because we have owner's capital increase by, by 40,000. So I put plus sign and plus sign there. Next, pay office rent 8,400. Now, when we pay for the office rent, 8,400, our cash will decrease, right? Our cash will decrease because we pay money, 8,400. And office rent expense increase, okay? Office rent expense increase, but office rent expense, when it's increased, it will decrease the owner equity. So I will put here minus side, okay? Performed consulting services and view a client 52,000. What does it mean? We already provided a service, consulting services to the customer and we give them a bill, okay? The bill say, please pay to us 52,000, all right? Did the customer pay it? Yes, no, okay? We just give them a bill but we already performed the service to the customer. So in this case, 
account receivable will increase. So it means our assets will increase. Okay, account receivable. Why? Because we're going to receive the $52,000 in the future, okay? What else? Now, when we finish perform the services to the client, revenues will increase. Revenue is under owner equity. So when revenue increase, our owner equity will increase, okay? Number four, Bo Holiday withdrew 7,500 cash for personal use, okay? So uh, when Bo Holiday withdraw money for personal use, okay, our cash will decrease, okay? Because he, he withdrew the money from the business, cash will decrease. So when cash decrease on, the assets will decrease, okay? Now, when the owner withdrew the money from the business, we have owner's drawings, right? Owner drawing will increase. But owner drawing is under owner equity. And when owner's drawing increase, owner equity will decrease, okay? So I will have a decrease sign here, all right? Now, question B say, you need to journalize the transaction, okay? So I'll journalize the transaction now. Again, it doesn't have the day, so I'll just put number one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, first, Bo Holiday invested 40,000 cash in the business, all right? So we have cash. Sorry, make it black. Okay, we have cash increase by forty thousand, so we debit forty thousand. Okay, what else? We have bonus capital increase by. 40,000, okay. And to make the number easy to see, you can select all the column here and then press comma and then go to the right, no decimal, okay. Remember in the journal, there will be no uh, dollar sign, okay. And again, the question say you can opt me explanation. It means you don't have to write explanation at the end. Number two. Number two, pay office rain. So we have office rain expand 8,400. Okay. And we pay cash, so we get credit cash, 8,400. Again, you need to indent the uh, credit account to the right. And how can we indent it? Okay, you can go here and then go to the right, increase indent, okay, click on that. Okay, and then you can indent the account to the right. Number three perform consulting services and build a customer, a client 52,000. So we have a care receivable, debit 52,000 and credit service revenue 52,000, okay? Again, to indent the account, you will need to click here, increase indent, okay? To the right. Number four, 
withdraw 7,500 cash for personal use. So we will have on a drawing 7,500 and we credit cash 7,500. Okay, All right, let's move to the next one. All right, now let's us do problem 2.1. Playing this golf course was opened on March 1 by Li Feng. The following selected events and transactions occurred during March amounts in thousand. Uh, so we have those transactions in March and then they gave you the account's name, all right? So you will use those account names when you record the transaction, okay? And the question is, instructions, journalize the March transaction, okay? This is how we're going to journalize, okay? So first, we're going to write the first one, March 1 invested 20,000 cash in business. Okay, so I have March 1. Invested 20,000 cash in business. So when the, the owner, when the owner invested 20,000 cash in business, our cash will increase. Okay, so we have cash debit 20,000, okay? Cash is an asset. When assets increase, we debit, okay? And what do we credit? Now, when we invested cash in business, owner's capital also increase. When owner capital increase, we also credit 20,000, okay? Because owner capital, increase, it will increase on the equity. And on the equity is on the right side of the equation. So we will credit it. Now, because it's credit, we need to indent it to the right, okay? Don't forget to do that. All right, let me make it better. All right, March 3, uh, purchase Rainbow Golf Land for 15,000 cash. The price consists of land 12,000, building 2,000, equipment 1,000. Make one compound entry. One compound entry is mean we will record only one entry for many uh, debits account or many credits accounts. So let's do this one. Oh, don't forget to write down the explanation, okay? Because the question didn't tell you to omit the explanation. So I can write there, um, invest 20,000 cash in business, okay? And March 3, March 3, what happened? We buy land, right? How much land did we buy? Is 12,000, okay? Land 12,000, all right? So land is an asset. When assets increase, we debit. And then what else we buy? We buy building 2,000, equipment, 1,000, okay? And did we pay money? Yes, it say for 15,000 cash, all right? So we debit land 12,000, building um, 2,000, and equipment 1,000, and we credit cash for 15,000, okay? Remember cash, we credit. 
So when we credit, we should increase the indent to the right side. All right, don't forget to do that because if you forget, uh, we will deduct your point, okay? So you can write here, purchase land, building, and equipment for cash, okay? Okay, what else? March 5, we pay advertising expenses of 900. Okay, so right there, March 5, we pay for advertising expenses. Okay, so advertising expense is an expense account. And when expense account increase, right? Because we have advertising expense. So when advertising expense um, account increase, it means owner equity decrease. And when owner equity decrease, we have to debit. So we debit owner, sorry, we debit advertising expense for 900 and we pay, we pay advertising, right? So it will be credit cash, 900, all right? So I indent it to the right. Okay, so we write down pay advertising spend. Next, on March 6, what happened on March 6? We pay 600 for one year insurance policy. Okay, so remember last time uh, we talked about when we pay for something in advance before we use it, like advertising, insurance, okay, rent, we call it prepay expense. Remember that? Prepay expense is an asset because we're going to receive the benefit of having insurance. Um, so that is an asset because we're going to receive the benefit in the future of having insurance, okay? So when you pay for some expenses in advance and you haven't used it yet because this is for one year, right? This is for one year insurance policy. We haven't used it yet, okay? We pay for uh, one year in advance. So what we do is we will debit prepay insurance Okay, 600, we pay money, so we will credit cash, 600, okay? This is pay for one year insurance policy, okay? All right, don't forget to indent the cash account to the right. Next, we're going to do for March 10. March 10 purchase of this and other equipment for 1,050 from one company payable in 30 days, okay? So uh, got this and other equipment. This, this mean th these are the equipment, right? These are the equipment. So we buy equipment, 1,050 and we owe them the money. How do we know if we owe them the money? It's say payable in 30 days, okay? Payable in 30 days. So our journal entry will be when we buy equipment, okay? Equipment is an asset. So equipment will increase or assets will increase, right? 1,050, right? Did we pay cash? No, we didn't pay cash. We owe money on accounts. So it should be 
accounting credit, okay? Because account payable is a liability. When liability increase, we credit, okay? Again, we will indent it to the right. Okay, so we will write here, purchase equipment on, okay. next, March 18, uh, receive 1,100 in cash for golf fees. Fang records golf fees as service revenues. Okay, so when you uh, receive cash for golf fees, okay, so we have cash increase, all right? Cash is an asset. When assets increase, we debit. So we have cash debit 1,100. And it say, um, Fang records gross fees as service revenues, all right? So there will be an increase in service revenue. Now service revenue, when it's increased, owner equity will increase, okay? So when owner equity increase, we credit, okay? So we credit 1,100. Next, it says we sold 150 coupons books for $10 each. Each coupon, each book contains four coupons that enable the holder to play one draw of this cup. Okay, this cup. Now, class. Uh, in some business, they use uh, coupon books, okay? So what they do is they sell the coupon books for the customer in advance, okay? And then whenever the customer uh, want to play golf, they can bring the coupons and they can play anytime. So what is that? When you, when you receive money from customer in advance, but you haven't provided any service yet to the customer, right? You, do, you haven't provided any service yet. You just give them the coupon. And when they go and play golf, okay? It means that you provide a service. But in this case, uh, you just sell them coupon, okay? In advance. So when we receive money in advance, we will have an account called unearned service revenues, okay? Unearned service revenue we use when we receive cash from customer in advance before providing any service, okay? So, sorry, this one I haven't write the uh, explanation yet. Okay, March 19. Okay, you receive cash from customer, all right? How much is that? It would be 150 and 10, um, 10, okay? 150 coupons and time 10. And then we will use an account called unearned service revenues. Okay, why it's unearned service revenue? Because we haven't provided the service yet. We just sell them the coupon only. Okay, the customer haven't come to play golf yet. They will come to play golf later. When, when they come to play golf, it means we provide them the service, okay? 
you see. Comes from custom All right. We haven't provided any service yet. Okay, mark 25. Mark 25. Withdraw 800 cash for personal use. Okay, when you withdraw money for personal use, okay, we have owner, owner's drawings. Okay, owner drawings. Now, owner drawings uh, will increase because the owner withdraw money. And when owner drawing increase, it will decrease owner equity. So when owner equity decrease, we debit. Okay, so we debit 800. And we withdraw cash, right? We withdraw cash. So our cash will decrease. And when cash decrease, we credit 800. Okay, so we will write here with two, 800 cash for personal use. March 30, his salaries of 250. Okay, now salary is an expense. So when we pay for an expense, okay, we will debit yeah, salary and wages expense. How much is that? This is 250, right? Why we debit salary and wages expense? Because when expense increase, uh, it make owner equity decrease. And when owner equity decrease, okay, we debit. And we will credit cash, right? Because cash will decrease, we pay money. So our cash decrease. And then March 30. Let me say, pay one company in full. Okay. Where is one company? Okay, now look at transaction on Mark 10. We buy equipment from one company. We owe one company money, right? Right, we buy equipment and we owe one company. So when we owe them money, now we're going to pay for full, all right? pay all of the things that we owe them. So last time we owe them 1,050 on account payable, okay? Account payable. Now, when we pay money, what happened? Our accounts payable will decrease, right? Because we pay for the debt. We don't owe them money anymore. So our accounts payable will decrease. Now, account payable is a liability account. When liability account decrease, we debit, okay, we debit 1,050. And because we pay cash, our cash will decrease by 1,050. So we indent to the right. And here we will write there, uh, pay one, company in full. Next, receive 2,700 cash for golf fee, okay? This means that we receive money um, for golf fees, remember? Bank record golf fee as service revenues, okay? So it will be similar with transaction on March 18. Okay, right there, March 31, receive money. So when we receive money, we have cash increase. So we debit cash, 2,700, and we credit service revenue, service revenue for 2,700. Okay, don't forget to indent to the right. And make an explanation here. Receive 2,700 cash for gold. 
Okay. All right. That is all for problem 2.1. Hello everyone. Now let's continue with the demonstration problem. Um, this problem is not in the uh, textbook. So uh, the question is here and you just need to follow my instruction. Okay, you will need to do the similar uh, problem for your glassware. So listen to my instruction carefully. Uh, the following transactions for our sparks. An interior designer in her first month of business are as follows. Okay. January 2 invested 10,000 cash in business. And then January 3 purchased used car for 4,000 cash for use in business. January 9 purchased supplies on account for 500. January 11 new customer. 2,100 for service performed and January 16 paid 350 cash for advertising. January 23 pay creditor 300 cash on balance owed. Okay, instructions. Journalize the transaction. Don't forget to indent. Okay, don't forget to indent the account to the left. All right, don't forget to indent the account to the left, but to the right, sorry, for credit account. And uh, pause all the journals uh, on the transaction to the lecture accounts. Don't forget to link to the journal and create a formula for the balance in each lecture. the balance. And prepare a trial balance on June 30, 2014. Okay, make sure that you link the amount to the lecture and the total the amount in each side of uh, debit and credit. Okay, let's do that. So first of all, we need to invest 10,000 cash in business on January 2. So let's write the journal on January 2. Okay, invest, invest 30,000 cash in business, right? So when I invest the money in business, cash will increase 30,000 and owners capital, will increase by 30,000. Okay. Now, don't forget to indent to the right, okay? It, it will be like this, and you need to go to the upper and click on increase indent, so it will indent to the right. Don't forget to write a brief explanation of your transaction. Invest 30,000 in business. Sorry, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. This is, should be 10,000. I'm sorry, can you correct it? Should be 10,000. And um, next one is January 3, we purchased used car for 4,000 cash for use in business. So January 3, We purchase a used car for 4,000 cash. Okay, so a used car can be called an equipment 4,000. And we credit cash for 4,000. Okay. Here we can say we purchase a used car for 4,000 to use in business, okay? Oh, one more thing that at the end of the journal, you may need to pause the lecture um, account here in the post reference, okay? Next, January 9, we buy supplies on account for 500. 
January 9. We buy supplies on account for 500, okay? So when we buy supply on accounts, our supplies will increase by 500, okay? And because we buy supplies on account, okay? When you see that we buy something on account or on credit, so it means that we don't pay cash for that. We owe them the money, so it should be accounts payable increase. Okay, account payable is a liability. When liability increase, we credit. So we say that we purchase 500 supplies. Okay, on account. Next, January 11, we bill customer 2,100 for service performed. Okay, so January 11. What happened? We bill customer. When you say that, when you see the word bill customers, it means we we give them a receipt, a bill for two thousand one hundred. Uh, it means we ask them to pay for us two thousand one hundred because we already performed the service to them. Okay, but um. The customer has not paid us the money yet. Okay, we just give them the bill only. We haven't received the money from the customer yet. So in this case, it means that we expect to receive the money from the customer. So we have an increase in account receivable. Okay, account receivable increased by 2,100. And then we already performed the service, right? We already performed the service to the customer. So in this case, we earn a service revenue, okay? So service revenue increased 2,100, all right? We earn a service revenue because we already performed the service to the customer. Whenever you perform a service to the customer, Completely, it means you earn a service revenue, even though you haven't received money yet, okay? Okay, so I will say here, view customer 2,100 for service forms. Okay, Next is January 16, we pay $350 cash for advertising. Okay, so we have January 16. We pay supplies on account. Sorry, we pay 350 cash for advertising. So we will have advertising expand, increase, right? Because we, we pay for advertising, 350, okay? And because we pay money, our cash decreased by 350. Okay, so we can write there, we pay 350 cash for advertising, all right? Next, on January 23, we pay creditors 300 cash on the balance owed, okay? So you remember we owe somebody, right? Uh, a cow payable here, you can see that we owe 500. Now we pay 300 for the balance O, right? So we can write here, uh, it's January 23. January 23, we pay for um, the debt that we owe. So we have accounts payable 
decrease. Okay. How payable is a debt? So our debt will decrease by 300 and we pay cash for that. So cash will decrease by 300. So we will say we pay um, 300 <coughs> for balance post. Now, after you finish to record all the journal entries, you will need to put the uh, accounts number in the reference column, okay? The account number and reference column is, for example, for cash, it will be 101, okay, 101. So we will put in 101. Honors capital, Owner capital, it would be 301. Okay, 301. Equipment, equipment would be 12A. Okay, 12A and cash is 101. Supplies, supply is 126. Okay, 126. And accounts payable would be 201. 201. Account receivable would be 112. 112. And service revenue would be 400. 400. Okay. Advertising expense. Advertising expense would be 726. Okay, 726. 726. And cash would be 101. Account payable is 201. And cash is 101. Okay, so you need to fill in the account numbers in the reference column. All right. Now let's continue. Question B, we need to pause uh, the journal to the lecture. So you need to link the amount to the and create a formula for balance in each lecture. Okay, so we need to pause to the lecture accounts. So for example, on January 2, you have cash debit 10,000, right? So we will need to put post cash debit 10,000 into the lecture. So we're going to write the day. This is on January 2nd. So I just press equal sign and I click on the day. It will link to the day there. Explanation, you can skip that. Reference, you will need to write the page of the journal here, it's J1. Okay, so right here, J1. Okay, so we will debit 10,000. Now don't type 10,000 here. What you need to do is to use the equal sign and click 10,000 and then enter. Okay. And then for the balance, the first balance, it will equal with this one. And later we can create um, a formula. All right, next, we're going to post owner capital credit 10,000 here to account 301, okay? So we go to owner's capital, the day would be equal to January 2nd, enter and Remember, owner capital credit. So it will be credit sign. So we press equal sign and click on credit. Okay, and then enter. Okay, and then the balance would be equal to this one since it's only one transaction. Next. We're going to post the next one, debit equipment 4,000 and credit cash 4,000. So I will go to equipment, January 3, right? Go to equipment, equal sign, 
And then it's debit cosine 4,000. Enter. Okay. So the balance here would be the same, 4,000. Okay. And next, what do we do next? We credit cash 4,000. Okay. So go to cash account. Um, click on this one. Okay, reference would be J1. Credit 4,000. Okay, so equal sign 4,000 here, right? Okay, and then you will make a formula in the balance since you have many other transactions. So the balance would be equal to the balance at the beginning, okay? Cash, it will increase by debit, okay? So I will plus debit, all right? And cash, it will decrease by any credit. So I will minus credit, okay? All right? It will be balance plus debit minus credit. Now enter. So it will be 6,000. Okay, so that is the second journal entry. Let's go to the next one. Uh, January 9, debit supply 500 and credit account payable 500. Okay, so we will go to supply, equal sign, click on the day, enter. And the reference would be J1, debit. So equal sign, 500, right? And then enter, okay? And then for the balance, it will be equal to this one. So equal sign and click on that, yeah. Okay. And we will credit accounts payable 500. Okay, accounts payable 500. So equal sign January 9. All right, the reference is J1. Credit, right? We credit. So I press equal sign and click on account payable 500 okay so the balance the first one is just exactly equal okay the first one with you don't have to to uh, create a formula it will be equal to to that the second one we will create the formula okay now next uh transaction number four january 11 Okay, we will debit account receivable 2,100 and credit service revenue 2,100. So let's go to account receivable. Press equal sign, January 11, okay, J1. We will debit, so equal sign, and we click on 2,100, enter, balance, equal sign, this one, all right? Next is service revenues, all right? So service revenue, also the same thing. You press equal sign, service revenues, January 11. Service revenue, we credit, right? So we have to press equal sign and then credit. Credit 2,100. So click on 2,100 here and enter, okay? So the balance, again, the balance for the first one will be equal, exactly equal. So it will be 2,100, okay? Um, next, January 16, the debit advertising expense 350 and cash 350, okay? So we go to advertising expense, equal sign, January 16, right? Debit, 
equal sign and then click on 350. So the balance will be exactly equal to 350, all right? Exactly equal to 350. And then what next? We pay cash 350, right? We pay cash 350. So here in cash, you can press equal sign, January 16, okay, J1. And what do we do? We credit, right? We credit 350. So I'll press equal sign and then 350, okay? Now for the next, you don't need to type the formula here. What you need to do is, Click on the cell and go to the very right corner. You see that? There will be a plus sign there and you just drag it down, okay? Then it will show you the, the balance, okay? The balance. So 6,000 minus 350 and that will give us 5,650, all right? So just go to the corner when it has a plus sign, drag it down and it will copy the formula down, okay? All right, the last transaction, January 23, we debit accounts payable 300. So we go to accounts payable, the side, January 23, J1, okay? We debit, right? So we will press the side, 300, yeah, enter, okay? Now, in this case, when we have um, the second one, you need to put a formula here. Now, this is a accounts payable, it's this liability. So for liability and owner equity, the formula will be liability and uh, owner equity accounts like, um, owner's capital or service revenue, the formula will be balance plus any credit minus any debit, okay? It's opposite with assets, all right? It will be balance plus any credit, okay? Because credit will increase our liabilities and minus debit. Why minus debit? Because debit will decrease uh, the owner, the, the liabilities, okay? Liabilities, so enter, our balance will be 200, okay? And the next one is um, we credit cash, okay? We credit cash, so I'll press equal sign, January 23, enter, reference will be J1, okay? And we credit 300. So credit 300, you press equal sign, link to the 300 here and enter. Okay, now again, you don't need to type the formula here. Just go to the, the, the cell before, the balance cells, and then go to the right corner. When it has a plus sign, drag it down, and then that will be the ending balance of cash, okay? So we just finished question B, which is um, posting to the lecture. So we post all the journal entry to the lecture. Now you will need to post the ending balance here, okay? To the trial balance and make sure that the total debit would equal to total credit for the for the trial balance. Okay. okay, let's do that. So uh, cash, I'll just put here a little bit. Okay, cash. Um, don't type the number here. What you need to do is to link it with our cash lecture. So I'll press equal sign, 
And then I'll go to the lecture, the test lecture, and then I click on the ending balance here. So it will link it with the cash um, lecture. So if you make some changes here, it will automatically change in the trial balance. Okay, so I enter it. Okay, and then account receivable. Now receivable equal sign. Okay, I go to account receivable and then I click on the balance, ending balance, enter. Okay, supply equal sign and then go to the supply, enter. Okay, equipment. Equipment, click on the balance here and I enter. Okay, accounts payable, accounts payable, so equal sign. But for account payable, remember it's on credit side. So we need to go to credit side and then equal sign 200, right? On a capital on credit side too. So equal sign, and then I press 10,000. Okay, service revenue is also on credit side. So 2,100. Link with that. And advertising expense is on debit side. Okay, so I press equal sign and then link with this. Now we're going to sum all the one on the left side, okay, all the debit, and then enter. And then we will sum all the credit. Okay, and then enter. If they are equal, it means you did it correctly. Okay, so in your assignment or your classwork, you need to do um, similar things. Okay, similar things. All right. Thank you so much. And um, don't forget to do the classwork.